Hello, seniors. I'm glad that you are able to view this instructional video in that probes you are interested to learn research. May this video provide you with memorable learning as you go through practical research one. Happy learning! Our lesson today is APA or APA Citation Style. In the previous lesson, you have learned about the types of plagiarism and how to paraphrase. Now you are ready to use in-text and reference citation style. American Psychological Association or APA referencing style is the most commonly used referencing style in the field of education. It is also known as author date referencing. However, this is not the only referencing style available. There are Chicago Manual of Style or the CMOS, Modern Language Association Style or the MLA, Modern Humanities Research Association or MHRA, American Sociological Association or ASA and the like. But in the meantime, your focus is on APA 6 edition Manual of Style. At the end of this module, you are expected to cite related literature using standard style. There are two things that you need to remember in using APA. First, it is used as an in-text citation and second, it is used in reference citation. Let us begin on in-text citation. The in-text citation is a reference citation that is made within the body of the text or essay according to Waikato Institute of Technology in 2010. The main question now is when are we going to use in-text citation? Practically, we use in-text citations every time we quote, summarize, and paraphrase statements, information, and ideas that came from others. It is a scholarly acknowledgement through giving credit who stipulated ideas and concepts. In an in-text citation with single author used in the beginning, let's have this example. Fernandez, open parenthesis 2020 or the year it was published, close parenthesis stress that proper citation has to be observed among novice researchers. For in-text citation with single author used at the end, here's the example. Proper usage of citation styles promotes integrity among novice researchers, open parenthesis, Fernandez, 2020, close parenthesis. How about if the writer wanted to indicate the title of the source? Of course, you can do it. However, title has to be in quotation marks. Let's have this. In-text citation with article title. In Fernandez 2020 article, comma, open quotation mark plagiarism, writer's crime stress that proper citation has to be observed among novice researchers. Another example. In Fernandez 2020 book, the secrets of plagiarism discuss on ways plagiarism can be avoided. Again, the title of the source must be in quotation marks. In some cases, the title of book, articles, proceedings, journal articles, and the like are italicized. However, when you italicize the title, omit the quotation marks. Example, for in-text citation without quotation. In Fernandez's 2020 book, The Secrets of Plagiarism, discuss on ways plagiarism can be avoided. Again, when you italicize the title, omit the quotation marks. Now, can we use citation in the middle? It is a common practice to see citation at the beginning or at the end of the reference statement. However, there are instances that citation appears in the middle of the cited statement. Let's have this. In-text citation in the middle of this statement. Fernandez 2020 attested that citation can be used only at the beginning and end of the sentence, whereas Munez in 2020 claimed otherwise. Another example, 
conduct of research enables novice researchers to deal on practical aspects of education for non 2020 as well as the theoretical foundations of different philosophies. Now, when do we use et al. in our citation? Et al. is a Latin term for et alia, which means and others. This is used when you have multiple authors. Multiple authorship is authorship composed of six or more authors. Thus, when you have less than six authors, you need to write their surname. If you use in-text citation at the beginning, just connect their surname with a comma and end. However, if it is at the end of the statement, you connect the author's surname with the use of comma and ampersand. In-text citation with three authors at the beginning. Fernandez, Munez, and Valencia in 2020 attested the citation can be used only at the beginning and end of the statement. For in-text citation with three authors at the end, it was attested the citation can be used only at the beginning and end of the statement. Fernandez, Munez, and Valencia in 2020. In-text citation with six or more authors, Fernandez et al. 2020 attested the citation can be used only at the beginning and end of the statement. In-text citation with six authors at the end, it was attested that citation can be used only at the beginning and end of the statement. Fernandez et al. 2020. But what if you have two or more authors with similar facts or information? If dealing with this scenario, all of them are placed on the same parentheses. However, they are separated with a semicolon. Likewise, author's name has to be listed in alphabetical order. Multiple entry with similar information. Let's have an example. It was attested that citation can be used only at the beginning and end of the statement. Fernandez 2020, Munez 2019, Valencia and Montemayor 2018. What if the idea that you are going to cite was already cited by an author? In circumstances like this, it can be done in two ways. First, in-text citation already cited by an author. Example, Montemayor as cited in Fernandez 2020, that citation can be used only at the beginning and end of the statement. Another example, Montemayor in 2001 attested that citation can be used only at the beginning and end of the statement as cited in P 2020. How about when you are going to cite a website article without authorship or organizational author? If you are going to cite a website article without authorship, you need to use the web page title or few words of the title in the parentheses. Example of in-text citation using website article without author. Man in need, 2020, eating healthy foods gives us more time for our loved ones. Another example, eating healthy foods gives us more time for our loved ones. Man in need, 2020. How about page number? Are we going to include it? Many of the in-text citations omit page numbers. However, it is encouraged to declare even the page number. Aside from this, it adds credibility to your sources if you are going to declare it. Example of in-text citation with page number. Fernandez 2020, eating healthy foods gives us more time for our loved ones. Page 99, enclosed in the parentheses. For in-text citation using paragraph number, According to Fernandez 2020, eating healthy foods gives us more time for our loved ones, para or paragraph 99. Another example, it was highlighted that eating healthy foods gives us more time for our loved ones, Fernandez 2020, para 99. 
after learning how in-text citation is done, let us move on to reference citation. This provides authority to your statements by providing your readers access to those sources. Likewise, it is an acknowledgement of the information you have brought out on your research. Of course, in-text citations need to appear in the reference section of your paper. Practically, it is the list of the sources you have cited throughout your paper. This will provide your readers access to all the sources you have considered in your research. Because we have used the APA 6 edition citation style in your in-text citation, we use also APA 6 edition reference style in your reference entry. However, this only limited to the reference citations you will be using in your study. These are reference citations in books, journals, online sources, and thesis and dissertations in single authorship, multiple authorship, without author, and date. For the reference citation style in books, Fernandez DV 2020, Quest for Happiness, Fern Publishing Company Press. If you can notice, the structure of this is the author's name. Okay. Surname, first letter of the name, middle initial, then followed by a period. After that, the date of publication, and then a period are included. Next is the title of the book. Remember that the whole title is italicized and the first letter is capitalized. There is an exemption. All proper names are capitalized. However, after the title, write the publishing company. Okay. So for the single author, we have Fernandez DV 2020, Quest for Happiness, New York, Foreign Publishing Company, Press. All right. The place of publication and the publisher are also included. When authorship reached to five, you are going to use et al. Thus, book with one to five authorship takes the usual format. For three authors, Fernandez, D.V. Munez, E.M. and Fernandez, Y.M. 2020 Quest for Happiness, New York Foreign Publishing Company Press. Note that each author is joined with comma. Before the last author, there is a comma and ampersand. For six or more authors, Fernandez DV et al. 2020 Quest for Happiness, New York, Fern Publishing Company Press. Note that after the first author, the word et al. is attached. The Latin term means et alia, which means and others. Thus, it represents the other authors of the book. For journal articles for single author, Fernandez DV 2020, Lived Experiences of Students Engaged Community Services, Journal for Young Filipino 44, 688 to 95, DOI 10.13140 RG.2. Uh, dot three four seven six three dot seven five zero four seven. What is DOI? If you notice, it is similar to the reference citation for book. However, what makes it different is that it includes the journal publication. First, the letter of the word is capitalized, then followed by volume, issue, and page number, and digital object identifier, or the DOI. Remember two things. First, is that journal publication italicized? And second, if DOI is not present, you can just omit that part. For three authors, Fernandez D.V. Munoz E.M. and Fernandez P.Y.M. in 2020 lived experiences of students engaged community services, journal for young Filipino, followed by issue, volume, page, number, and DOI. For six or more authors, Fernandez DV et al. Again, et al., which means of others, okay, 2020, lived experiences of students engaged community services. Again, 
the journal publication is included also the issue volume page number and doi if applicable Moving on, let's have the thesis and dissertation. For thesis or dissertation in hard copy, Fernandez DV 2020, Development of Reading Comprehension Through Contextualized Graphic Novel and Published Master's Thesis, Bataan, Peninsula State University, Philippines. Dissertation for thesis or dissertation follows the same format with books. It starts with the author, date published, title of the thesis or dissertation. Take note that the title needs to be italicized. Then there is parenthesis. Inside it is the description of what reference is being cited. Is it a master's thesis or dissertation? Last part is the institution where it is made and the location of the institution commonly writers write the country. For thesis or dissertation from repository, same citation, it's just have the retrieve from HTTP and the source or the reference. The format still follows the reference with similar with the hard copy. However, the last part should indicate the link of the thesis. For thesis or dissertation from database, Okay, so ProQuest is an example of online database for thesis and dissertation. Fernandez DV 2020, Development of Reading Comprehension Through Contextualized Graphic Novel Master's Thesis, available from ProQuest Dissertation and Thesis Global Database. UMI number 3371229. Note that UMI is the name of publishing company that stands for University Microfilm International. The services it offers is a storage of thesis and dissertations. For the online sources, these are articles from credible website. Example. Fernandez DV 2020, Reading Comprehension and Graphic Novel Retrieved from the link. Notice that on the last part of the entry, it includes the link where the article was retrieved. Remember not to put period at the end of the entry. Remember, when you make a reference list, it should be arranged in alphabetical order using the first letter of the surname. That's the end of our lesson today. It's been my pleasure teaching you one of the amazing topics of Practical Research 1, and I really hope you learned something from this video lesson. Thank you, and may God bless us all. Let's meet again in our next video.